Up in the Virginia mountains is Highland County, where every second and third weekend in March, they celebrate the Maple Syrup Festival, where they honor the maple syrup that's made here. And today I'm gonna take you around and show you five things that you can do here. Hey, it's Lawrence e. Ray in RVA, and I'm absolutely obsessed with Richmond and Virginia. So on this channel, you're gonna see tons of travel tips and vegan food, so make sure to subscribe for more of that. And this is Lucas. Hey, drinking, <laughs> what is this again? Tea? Chai, chai tea. Chai tea. All right, <laughs> let's go. Our first stop was to Tanolaway Farm. This is a maple farm located right outside McDowell. You can park on the side of the road and walk the 0.3 miles to the tasting room. There are also limited parking spots next to the house. So we're at our first stop and I do not know what to expect from this maple no syrup idea. festival. What's it gonna be? And what's it gonna be? Um, ooh, I have a little bit of sunlight behind me. Lots of syrup. Lots of syrup. <laughs> it's a <laughs> no. glorious day though. Beautiful, brisk, what, 45 degrees or something? <laughs> Yeah. Once you reach the tasting room, you can do a free tasting of the many different maple syrups they make. Which one was that? The hickory? The hickory. Yeah. Very smoky, very like fire-like. <laughs> walnut syrup? What? This is a walnut tree? A walnut tree syrup. Wow, interesting. It's like subtler and yeah, different flavor. I didn't know you could get syrup from a walnut tree. Nobody knows. It's a secret. It's a secret. Won't tell anyone. <laughs> Next, we tried what they called maple fire cider. Well, I like it. You have to tell me. Tastes like this is spicy pickled All these juice. Maybe you have it. And then this like aftertaste of cheese. I don't <laughs> no, know how to describe you. it any that's other you. way. Yeah. Maple fire cider. Burns as it goes down. Must try. <laughs> they sold their syrups, pancakes, tea, and coffee. We got the chai, which was tasty, and a $7 bottle of their smoky hickory maple syrup. Tanolaway Farms? I don't know if I'm pronouncing Tanolaway. that correctly at all. They have such good maple syrup. We've actually tried their syrup at the big RVA market that they have yeah. every Saturday from 9 to 12 at Bryan Park in Richmond. Yeah, they had some stuff here that they don't have there. True, so they had the more walnut. walnut. Apparently, you can tap syrup from walnut, walnut trees. Tree. So that was cool to learn. Yep. And then that um, fire cider was very interesting. It tasted Whoa. like apple cider vinegar or something. <laughs> we didn't ask the recipe, but we probably should have. It still is in my throat, um, <laughs> but it was really great. Everyone there is so sweet. And this is a really great first stop because after you leave Charlottesville on your way to Monterey, Virginia, this is one of the first stops. During regular hours, not during the festival, uh, it's by appointment only apparently to do a tasting, but they have a bunch of bottles for sale. Really, really good. I'm excited to go to the next stop, aren't you? Same, let's maple do it. Maple syrup! You have to yell maple syrup. Maple syrup! <laughs> Just a mile and a half down the road is the town of McDowell, which had the Sugar Tree Country Store. Here you could shop for many local goods or get the ever popular and super fresh maple donuts sold only during the festival. So we stopped by McDowell, which is right next to the maple syrup farm we were just at and they have the sugar tree country store where you can get maple donuts twenty dollars for a dozen though so we didn't get a chance to get them but everybody was loving them but um it was still fun also these like country stores here are adorable on the inside and are ran by like local people i think they actually look like a country store from like back in the day yeah. and they had tons of maple stuff available for purchase. Me and Lucas don't do dairy or eggs, so we couldn't like get anything there because you most have a dairy. gallon of maple syrup though. We could get maple syrup. Oh yeah, for $68, which <laughs> I feel like that's a steal. Please come and get those maple donuts and tell me how much you love them. Milk they were warm, so good. It smelled so good. Oof. <sighs> Maple syrup festival. <laughs> yeah, maple syrup festival. 15 minutes down the road from McDowell is Monterey. This is a larger town with more things to do. We parked just outside of town on the road and walked about five minutes to the center of the town. Yay! Welcome to Monterey. This is a great stop to get lunch or during the festival to stop at the many different vendors. We stopped inside Claire's Cakes where they have coffee and baked goods. They even had two vegan options for us, the maple cupcake and the maple coffee cake. For lunch, we headed into the Curly Maple, a store and restaurant. They have tons of local goods as well as more maple syrup. We found a table and ordered the nachos. I was able to figure out a vegan option, which is crazy. But they had nachos with brisket and cheese, and I said, take off the meat and cheese. And got a pretty good nacho situation here. Lots of veggie on it, actually. And I'm using like the barbecue sauce as a sauce, and it's actually so good. Like, I can only assume the other food at the Curly Maple is probably amazing because these random modified nachos are great. This is a vegan cupcake. It's very classic cupcake texture and like frosting, but the maple taste is perfect and it's very, it's not dry at all. It's moist, nice. it's delicious. <laughs> so good. Wow, this seems like it's gonna be good. The maple flavor, finally, we got our maple fix. Oh, this is so good. Mm. 
You definitely have to stop at Claire's Cakes. Definitely. Our next stop was to the local cidery, Big Fish Cider. Here they do tastings for $7 or you can get a flight for $14. We decided to do a tasting. Mm. Mm. This tasting was $7 and they give you huge pours and there's so many delicious ones. They're more on the dry side. They're not like the sweet cider, but I like that. The blackberry is the last one I'm trying right now and it's so good. And there's no spray on the apples. Oh yeah, they do no spray on yeah, their apples. the elevation, so. they said, is high enough where they don't need it. That's pretty cool. Lucas's favorite was the elevation. I'm a huge fan of this blackberry. They said Thomas Jefferson's favorite was the Virginia Hughes crab. <laughs> That could be a good one then. I highly recommend stopping by and giving it a taste. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, do it. Do it. We are at Duff's Sugar House, another maple syrup farm, or maple sugar farm. I still haven't figured out how you say it, actually. They have lots of stuff to do here, um, so we're just gonna mooch around and see what we find. Okay, there is a log cabin in front of us yeah. with fire, but it's called the Trades Fair? The 18th century Trades 18th Fair. 18th century Trades Fair. Inside of the log cabin is this, and this smells amazing. All right, we came, we saw, we conquered. We got to listen to Terry Duff yeah. of Duff Sugar Farms. He was inside kind of talking about the maple syrup, and then we got to try some. It was very strong flavor. They actually sold out, so you can't actually buy it today you right now. We could taste test. We could taste test, and we did, and it was yeah. really good. It was a lot stronger, I think, of a flavor than the Tanola way. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. yeah, I think I like the Tanola way. More? Hot take. I had more of it, Hot well, take. it had more flavors. Like this was just the one. Yeah. So maybe that's why. But they also have a log cabin here and some like fire, which smelled really good. And there was lots to see. So it's kind of a really good stop. Also a huge parking lot. Yeah. So and there, there was like a little pond. I think it's definitely worth a stop just yeah. to see kind of a different take yeah. on the farm. So I think we're gonna go to maybe one more okay. farm. One more. And try some more maple syrup. It's maple syrup festival. We got stuff. Maple all day. Our last stop of the day was to Mill Gap Farms, which is 100% organic maple syrup farm. We headed into the barn to do another maple syrup tasting. Just trying the hickory smoked maple syrup um, or syrup. I think it's syrup in Virginia. Syrup? I think they pronounce it syrup. I've just realized after all this time, different people are saying it different ways. Yeah. So now I don't know. Comment below if you know which way to pronounce it. Also, the hickory smells like fire. It does. The one that's, is that the one that's the barbecue sauce one? Yeah, this one's insane. That one insane. was a bit too much for Okay, me. so the hickory <laughs> at the first place we went to was like subtle. This is intense. This is like straight up barbecue sauce. Cedar wood burning in your mouth. What an, like what an interesting one. one to end on. It the tastes, whiskey one is the best. The whiskey one is yeah. so good. Their syrup here, or syrup, syrup. we still don't know, <laughs> is so good. Yeah. It's very thick, very flavorful, and it's organic at Mill Gap, so that's kind of neat. Every place tastes different. Every place is different the way that you do the taste test and everything. I think that's what's so cool about this festival is that it's two weekends and Saturday and Sunday, so you can kind of go to all of them. We've True. only gone to three because we only have one day, but I think it's worth a visit. Every place is different. Who Herbs taste tests maple Who syrup? This? this is my first time taste testing maple syrup. It's usually yeah. like wine or whiskey or something, but no. Maple syrup slash syrup. I never thought I'd say this, but I feel good on maple syrup. Yeah. I, <laughs> I am sugared out. Yeah. I had a lot between the <laughs> cupcake. <laughs> the coffee cake. cake. Oh, we didn't film the coffee cake. It was so good. So we ate good. it on the drive here. Yeah. It was so amazing. And then we taste tested so much maple syrup. I never just drink maple syrup plain. So like no. having this much of it has been a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> and then the cider was so good though. The cider was it was so dry good. cider. Luckily it wasn't too sweet. And the only like savory thing we had were those nachos. So yeah, yeah that was I'm, nice. We need more savory. <laughs> we need more savory. That's the goal after this. But um, it was a glorious day. It was so yeah, much fun up in weather. Highland County. The weather was perfect today. Everyone says to come back in the fall. That is beautiful. And I can only yeah. imagine because look behind me. I can just see the foliage in the, the fall. Oh, what yeah. was your favorite thing that you did today? It was probably <laughs> the surprises of the the Vegan baked the, goods. But also I really like the cider. I liked mm -hmm. uh, Tanola Way. I think the first farm was my favorite. I think we have the same favorites. Yeah. I did like the cider though. That was really good. Yeah. We got a bottle of that too. We got Elevation. We did. So that's fun. If you want to follow along for more Virginia and Richmond travel adventures, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and we will see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.